Hello and welcome back to another video of mine that you have decided to watch. But before I get into the video, thank you all for over 40 subscribers. That may not sound like a lot to a lot of you, but it's a lot to me and I'm very grateful. So I haven't done a reading and review for a very long time. And due to a request from Blue Axol, I'm doing Hoodsicle reading slash review. Hoodsicle is probably my favourite sensei right now. And he's literally a guy in a hood. And he's got a sickle. Not much to say, but I think he's really cool. On to his attacks, I guess. So his first attack is a basic swing of his weapon. And obviously this attack is useful. It's literally his main primary of damage. His second attack is a teleport kind of thing, which summons remnants, which as you can see on screen right now, powers up your physical thing. Now it's time for his first upgrade. Gravity well. Create a gravity well that explodes after several seconds. This attack isn't really good right now, so I'd advise not using it. His second upgrade is extended dislocation. This just allows him to do a better teleport. This is only useful for enemies that are far away, like in this clip. Third upgrade is Dark Combo. Absorbing the Dark Remnants, you can make your Scythe attacks more powerful. Yeah. If it wasn't evident, you're going to be using this teleport a lot, meaning this attack is actually really good. Gets a 10 out of 10 from me. His fourth upgrade is Detonate Gravity Wells. So now you can just make them explode whenever you want. This attack is actually really good because now you just plop it down, then blow it up and kill every enemy. And now on to his split paths. And before you ask, I think the bottom path is better, contrary to most belief. First upgrade in this path is longer and stronger. It just makes your gravity wells do more damage and stay for longer. Next is Warp Pulse, which just when you hit the gravity well, it makes scythes come out. Epic. Then Explosive Dash, which means once you dash into it, it explodes. Amazing. On the top path, it's more remnants. We never need remnants because it literally is useless. Six remnants. Again, we don't need more remnants. Why are you giving us more remnants when we don't? Need them, and then there's Darth, the dark, the Darth no, dark stinger, and it just does the pretty much the exact same thing as the remnants. Ah! On the soul gem, scythe nato, epic. This is probably the most useful upgrade he's gotten in a while. This pretty much does the same thing as the upgrade on the bottom path, but makes it way more powerful. And that's why it's so good. It clears out enemies in like two seconds. And I absolutely love the move to death. Then it comes to a Sky Chi. Probably one of the best Sky Chi's in the game. He spins around shooting out big black hole orb things. And as normal to Sky Chi's, it wipes out pretty much every single enemy near them. And go to the shrine and get this, please. Okay, for real here... Hoodsicle is probably one of the best characters I've ever played. I know I say that a lot in these videos, but I mean it this one. He would definitely make it in the top five of my Skylander lists. And he's literally one of the best senseis. So if you ever see Hoodsicle, go get him. And I'm giving him a ten I'm giving him a nine out of ten. 